All right, billions are wasted every year on medical costs that are either unnecessary or just inefficient systems were to blame. A lot of money. Some mm -hmm. Rice University students, though, have created an app to help patients understand the healthcare system and save money on their care. And you know who always helps us mm -hmm. save money? Heather Sullivan. She's here in studio with some smart sense. Ah, oh, thank you. We know JAMA shows about 25% uh, of what we spend on health care is wasteful. So this is the Healthcare Navigator. It's an app and a website, and it's aimed at helping patients be better informed about their care, shop around, and maybe even avoid some unnecessary procedures. How comfortable you are with quality metrics. After working in healthcare administration and seeing patients overwhelmed with trying to research doctors, prices, and information on their health care, Rice student Kayla Grimes had an idea. I wanted to build a platform that could really help people. She and eight other students created the Healthcare Navigator, an app and website to help patients navigate their health care options. It asks questions about your needs, shows you upcoming appointments, and offers tools like Pocket Doc, where users can find local doctors and public data on them from Medicare and Medicaid websites. They get quality metrics like readmission rates, infection rates, mortality rates, everything that you need to know in order to say like, okay, I know I can trust this person because of their past performance. Cost Compass pulls prices for procedures that hospitals are required to publish. You put in your location, your insurance, and then we give you the prices for every for that procedure or whatever you put in so that you can make a more financially healthy decision when you're deciding on where to go for care. Users can get questions answered through Care Genius AI, learn the ins and outs of the healthcare system, and store information information in the app's care manager. The students were mentored by the National Patient Advocate Foundation and Rice professors. Dr. Jay Chung believes that this will help patients understand their diagnosis and treatment. For example, after a surgery, uh, patients may feel more responsibility to actually comply to recommendations that doctors are su suggesting, whether that be diet or exercising, even follow-up procedures that patients need to comply to. Making it extremely simple for the average patient to be able to navigate health care um, and to also just get their power back. So Grimes says that accounts are password protected and she says that they already have four businesses signed up to be customers. I put a link to the website on Sullivan Smart Sense on fox26houston.com. So is there a cost for this at all, Heather? So there is. So Grimes says that consumers can use it for a special rate right now of about $16 a month and employers can offer it to their employees for $25 every quarter per person. All right valuable information. Yes, too. what a great resource mm -hmm. and for the students to have invented it, come up with it. Yeah, I think that's so so impressive that right? they did that. Yeah. All right, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.